Alice LPS. Hey everyone, and today we're doing a kind of video which I've never ever done before. An LPS custom, well I've done an LPS custom before, but an LPS custom on a popular base. Ah! Yep, today we're going to be customising an LPS short haired cat. And don't scream, I know she looks terrifying and it makes me sad looking at her. But I purchased her on eBay a while ago and I only got her for like £2 in a bundle because the whole bundle, everything was like covered in this glitter glue and it. I tried scraping it off here as you can see there's like a patch here and then a patch on her head but I just couldn't get it all off and then I realised there was staining in the eye and everything so I threw her into my future customs box and she's been there for like a year and I haven't touched her so today is the day! So as I mentioned before, she is covered in this glitter. It's not just like PVA glue, I think it's like super glue or like a stronger glue than PVA, I don't really know. But today we are going to be doing an experiment, kind of. Um, I'm not just going to be customising her, I'm going to be customising her into the pattern of this Great Dane. There have been some images floating around the internet of this fake dog of a different Great Dane, I'll put it on the screen. And it inspired me to do it to this one. I really like the design of this one. And there aren't really any brown short head cats, I don't think. And if there are, I don't own them. So I thought it would be a nice little change to have a brown cat. And I really like the idea of her having a little patch there. And I wanted to give her the little star in the eye. And his design is just really simple. He's one of like the most recognisable LPS, so I think it would work really well on this cat. If you guys get inspired to do anything like this, please don't use authentic LPS or like ones that are in good condition because they're worth a lot of money now and there really aren't that many that are floating about in the wide world. I would really recommend you guys picking up some fakes, which is what I'm going to do in the future for future customs. Yeah, please don't do this to your authentic LPS. It's Yeah, please, please spread the word. It's, it's not good.
Okay, here's our finished custom. I would really like to use a glaze or a sealant on her, but I just don't have one on me at the moment, but maybe I'll do that in the future. I tried to make the paint as smooth as possible, but it's still a little bit bumpy. I'm still kind of new to customs. This is like, maybe my fourth custom? I really do like how smooth the paint job was, to be honest, but the only bit that was kind of bumpy are the eyes, because he had some really detailed star eyes, and it was kind of hard. I really like this one over here, but the star on this one looks a little bit not symmetrical, but I think it's pretty cool. I did an okay job, I guess. Maybe I'm just too critical of my customs, <laughs> but I tried to match him like completely so they're like the same. It was kind of hard mixing the paint so it looked exactly the right colour because when I was mixing it when it was wet, it looked perfect, but when it dried it came out darker and I was like, oh, maybe my paints aren't the best for doing customs, so I think I might buy some more paint in the future when I do more customs. You can see the brown here is a little bit more red than the brown on the original, and the cream here is a bit more peachy than the original as well. But I think, I think they look okay, I, I don't know, I think the colour is only like slightly different. And the eyes are a little bit darker as well, I really thought I mixed the perfect colour but when it dried it just turned out a bit dark. But oh well, maybe when I film I can bump the um, brightness up a little bit and they can match. I would like to film a video with her, I think this will be like a really cool video having them like together. So if you have any video ideas, let me know in the comments down below. I would really like to shoot one of them together. They look kind of cute. Yeah, I'll give you a close-up of the whole custom. I learned a few new things doing this custom. Like, when I was going around the brown, I made sure to, like, wipe up any extra just to avoid, like, having clumpy paint and stuff like that. It's just... Yeah, <laughs> every custom is a journey and practice makes perfect. So if you guys are new to customs, I would recommend doing it on pets that you don't like so much and like kind of practice out a bit. I've never been good at painting, so customs is kind of a challenge for me, but it's really fun. So maybe I'll do some more in the future. Let me know if there's any more like dogs you want me to turn into cats or cats you want me to turn into dogs and I'll buy like some fake LPS and we can do some customs or something. That will be really cool. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell button down below to be notified for future videos and live streams and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!